tonight. West Michigan covered in ice. Freezing rain coated our area, leading to big issues, power outages, and this nightmare on the Grand River. Several Portland homes and businesses flooded after an ice jam caused the river to spill over its banks. About 50 people were forced from their homes. We have team coverage tonight following the aftermath of the ice storm. We'll begin with 24 Hour News 8's Joe Lafergie. He's downtown in Portland with the latest on the ice jam and what city leaders are doing to handle it. Well, you can see, uh, Brian, tonight, those big chunks of ice here in the river in the middle of downtown Par Portland. Uh, we know what these chunks of ice have done. They've forced the water up where it shouldn't be. And oftentimes, uh, what these chunks of ice will do is a bit unpredictable. Levels are down right now from this morning at their highest levels when they had to do all those evacuations. But the wrong conditions, well, that could stop that progress in its tracks. David Hunt has watched the ups and downs of the Grand River in Portland for more than four decades. I think last time Water Street actually flooded was back in the 60s or 70s. It's, it's been a while. The view from Joan 8 shows a backup of ice. Ice jams in this section of the Grand in Portland are not uncommon. The river narrows as it nears the downtown area, creating less space for the ice to squeeze through. But due to that deep freeze last uh, last week, it really created some significant ice. And so I think that obviously was the, the main contributor. And then you compound that with the uh, freezing rain, and uh, that's what you're going to get. The question now, when will the jam dissipate? Higher temperatures predicted for tomorrow and some rain could contribute to a slow meltdown, breaking up the ice and sending it down the river. But the amount of rain and where temperatures go after the warm-up are the big unknowns. It does seem at this at this stage the flooding has uh, receded some. Uh, but again, and then with the weather predicted, we're looking at, at 50 degrees and more rain tomorrow, which is good in some sense and, and not in the other. So uh, we just want to continue to monitor it and see what we need to do. Now, Gorman says the lessons learned from the 2015 tornado that really knocked out a good portion of uh, the uh, the city uh, just uh, west, of, uh, I'm sorry, south of town, uh, were really helpful this morning in the whole evacuation process. Now, if you are a Portland resident and you want to know what's going on, you want to keep up on the emergency uh, announcements, we have a couple of sources. Both the Portland City Police Department and Ionia County 911 have Facebook pages, and all that information are available there. We have links at woodtv.com. Live in Portland, Joe Lafergie, 24-Hour News 8.